airport. It was like living in North Korea. A speaker bolted okay. We've got the HyperTuff 20 volt, 2,700 RPMs per minute, 3,700 beats per minute, or 3,800 beats per minute, 1,375 inch pounds of torque, two and a half pounds, 1.5 amp hour battery. There it is. Nice little LED light. It is a brush motor. Okay, not a smart charger. It's like a 1.2 amp hour charger. Let's take a look here. Ooh, 0.3 of an amp. Super slow, super slow. So that ought to take three to four hours to charge. Okay, now for the good stuff to get up in her. And remember with playing with lithium batteries, make sure you have eyewear on and gloves. As for plastic, we have ABS, no glass fiber reinforcement. The bottom we have, once again, ABS, no glass fiber reinforcement. We've got what looks to be... Pretty much just the basics here, folks. These are, yep, 18650, 1500, ISR. These are high star. So these are off-brand, off-brand Chinesium. But they're not too bad, regular, regular 18650 cells. Of course, five cells bringing us up to our 20 volts, a little under 19 something. Remember that when it says 20 volts, that's not actually what it's running, it's running at 18 volts nominal. 20 volts is just the uh, surface charge. But for forty dollars, and I have, I have taken this outside with a torque wrench, set the torque wrench to hundred foot pounds, which is of course twelve hundred inch pounds. For those of you who didn't want to do the conversion, and it broke that off, no lubrication, no nothing, um, and it's rated at thirteen seventy five. So it breaking off one twenty, no problem. Was pretty surprising. Um, I did torque it down to hundred fifteen foot pounds of torque. It did break that, which is two pounds over what it's actually listed at. Uh, I said it at 120 foot pounds of torque, and it did break that, but it took like 15 seconds of just straight beating, and uh, it was bad. But it did do it, so, so 120 was the most I could get out of her. But remember, respectively, for 39.99, folks. Where else are you going to get a lithium ion impact for that? Oh, and by the way, I got an all-state insurance plan for an extra two bucks. And even if I break this thing on my own, they'll replace it in store. Okay. So we're getting in here. Once again, looks like TPE on the outside. Thermal plastic elastomer. Uh, it, once again, if, if I'm not mistaken, this once again just looks like ABS plastic. 
I don't see any, it doesn't look like nylon or glass fiber. I'll have to check. But it looks like just ABS plastic. And it and it created an atmosphere in which I think journalists want to relive that. And here comes a target even more unpopular than Richard Nixon was and the person of Donald Trump. And they have gone about their business. Okay, all right, all right, all right. We are almost in here, folks. We are almost in here. Which was so celebrated. It was pretty darn solid. All right. By the way, this battery is full charged. Okay. Well, still got a little bit more to go here. Okay, so once again on the mold here, not too bad on the mold. Oh, nope, right here we got some bad stretching. TPE. And that is just ABS, yeah, so TPE wrapped ABS. Nothing special there. Now into the beauty end of her. We've got a uh, 24 volt DC 15 amp. JC161B, and this is a Jinwan, so that's just a cheap no name Chinese. Uh, it's a variable speed trigger, uh, 24 volt though, and it does have a little little rubber pad here to keep the dust out. No, no bellows boot, of course, but not too bad. Um, it does have a nice big diode here, two big MOSFETs. So not bad on the wiring here, um, just a standard connector here. Um, I like that standard lithium ion 3.7 volt, the, the, whatever, the, you know what the connection I'm talking about. Same on the drones, same on quite a lot of little devices, little lithium ion packs will run on them. Okay, so nothing too bad on the board. There's no celastic or anything. Um, this bottom piece is just welded straight in. There's no connection. I don't really like that, but I mean, for 40 bucks, what, uh, what are you expecting? Um, okay, so here's the scary part about this drill here, folks. And, uh, that's the little hobby motor that runs her. Um, she's a really spook of motor here. Let me, let me get it out of here for you. Okay. Okay. So, here's the ample here. Aluminum. Aluminum. It's just cheap aluminum. Um, nice hardened steel ample, though. It's pretty solid. Nice. Uh, let's take a look at the gear work here. Okay. Once again, pretty skookum. Nice and oiled up. Once again, this is hardened steel. Right here, it goes into the gears. This is the outside pinion gear. Um, looks like the inside, the inside there, that's where the sun would go. And then on the outside here, we have planetaries. So that, that goes down in there like that. And as you can see on the inside, I'm not sure if you can see that down in there, but you do have the pinion gears. And those do, in fact, get fed by the sun gear here. Or those are planetary gears. It gets fed by the sun gear here. Right here. And that's coming straight out of the motor. Um, once again, looks like a... Uh, there's no markings on this motor here, but if I had to take a guess, it's, it's probably either a 24-volt or a 20-volt DC motor, uh, if I had to take a guess. It's an in enclosed motor. It's, it's hard to see it. There are little brushes in there, but they are tiny, very tiny. I think that's the only downside about this drill is, uh, is the motor itself. It's just a little hobby motor. Uh, and then, of course, right here, this is uh, 
Okay, so this is glass fiber reinforced right here. This is PA6 nylon. Um, but once again here, folks, for $40, you got the little LED down there, $39.99, you're just not going to beat it. I mean, if you just need an impact, there's just, there's no, there's no other impact on the market at this price that's going to put out over 100 foot-pounds of torque. And I mean, I was breaking 115 with about four or five seconds on the trigger. 115 foot-pounds. And that's that's two pounds over rating. And that's pretty impressive. So. See you next time.